Hi guys and welcome to this Divi WordPress tutorial. This is Jamie from System22 and WebDesignDetectives.com. Well in this tutorial today we're going to be putting together a full width WooCommerce gallery. Of course you can use this for just a regular gallery but we've got it linking to products. Or if you want to use the light box effect you can just use it as a regular gallery. So let's get started. It's very easy to do. Divi theme just keeps getting better and better. Right out of the box it comes with so many features. I've built so many sites with it. It's crazy. If you want to take it for a test drive you can do so from my affiliate link below this video. So let's get started. I'm going to go to a page that doesn't have that on it. Let's enable the visual builder. We'll do everything on the front end today. I'm going to click on enable visual builder. Once it's loaded, let's go down. And I'm going to put it between these two sections right here. So I'm going to click on the little blue button right here. Add new section. I'm going to make it a regular section. You might think we're going to make it full width, but we're not. We're going to make it a regular section. I've got 10 images, so I'm going to use a row of five and do one on top of each other. So here's five. You may want to do different. It's entirely up to you, however many columns you want to use. The important thing to remember is you want to make all your images the same dimensions, height and width. Um, it's fine if you don't. You're just going to end up with a mosaic style gallery, which is, they're pretty effective too. But today I want everything kind of uniform. So we've added our rows and it's prompted us to add a module. So I'm going to add an image module. And as you can see, right out of the box, Divi comes with all these great features right here, these great modules to use, apart from the product carousel, which is the third party plugin. So I'm going to add a regular Divi image. And I'm going to simply click on this to add my image. And let's start at the top. Like I say, I've got 10 images here. So once we've got our image in there, we just want to go to design, sizing. We want to make the image full width. Spacing. We want to say no, do not show any space below the image. So that's fine. I'm going to save that. I'm just going to go ahead and duplicate this image two little squares right there in the dark background. And every time you're happy, just drag it along to the next one. OK, and let's just double them up. So I'll have 10 images there. And of course, you're saying to yourself, well, that doesn't look anything like a full width gallery. Well, you're right. We've just got to make some adjustments. So we're going to go up and to the the green row icon. We're going to click on that cog there. Going to go over to the design tab, sizing. Going to click the box that says make this row full width. There we go. So that's almost full width. But what we need to do also, as I'll just move this up slightly, is we want to use a custom gutter width, which is the gutters are the gaps in between these. So we're going to say use custom width, use custom gutter width. We'll check that to yes. I'm going to slide this all the way to the left so we've got no space in between those images. As you can see, we've now got no space. 
which is what I want. You may want something different, but just play with it, get it how you want it. Great, so we're halfway there. So what I'm going to do now is go into each of these modules and just simply replace the image with a new one. Very quick to do. What I'll do is I'll pause this video and I'll just get this done quickly. OK, we're on the last one now. And that's it. We've got our sort of gallery in place there, which is fine. So now what we want to do, I'd like these to link to the actual products themselves. And that's very easy to do. So I've got a product up here. All I have to do is. I've got the same page or similar page open with that product on another page. Here is our original one. I'm just going to go ahead right click and copy the link address of course you can go to your product page and just copy the url it's up to you now we'll go back to our new slider and we'll simply hit the cog and here where it says link we'll just paste in the product link right there now you can have it open in a different page i'm going to leave mine to open in the same window And of course, if you want to use it as a regular gallery, you just do the same thing instead of linking to a product. You can just hit the link and say open in light box. And that'll open it up. Just like a regular gallery. So let's save this and we're about done. Save that. Save our changes and exit the visual builder. When we've got the green check mark, exit the visual builder. And go down to our gallery. Here we are. Now the first one should link to our WooCommerce product. There we go. And of course, you just rinse and repeat, just link to the products that you want to in each of these items here. And the second one we just use as a regular gallery item, a light box. So if you just want to make a regular gallery, you can do it that way. It'll pop out for you just like that. My images are only, I think, 8 by 600 pics. So it's only going to pop out the size of the actual image. If I was doing a gallery, I would have probably had larger images for that. So they pop out on the page a bit bigger. But there you have it. It's very easy to do. Of course, what I'd like to do is I have more space than I need at the top here. So let's just quickly adjust that and we'll call this done. So I'm going to enable the visual builder again. Another great thing about Divi. Adjusting padding, you don't have to go in and play with numbers. You can just do it all visually. I guess that's why they call it a visual builder. OK, so here's our section. Let's take that padding way up there. What else have we got here? We've got another section here. Let's take that padding away there. And we've also got a bit right there. So I can just left click and drag. And that's all I'm doing is left clicking and dragging once I've got the section highlighted. If you want to add more, it's just the opposite. Just left click and drag it down. I think that's about it for me. That works quite well, I think. Good. Well, again, let's save. Little purple button. Hit the green button to save. Once it's saved, let's exit our visual builder and see what we've got. There you go. There's a nice little full width gallery. Of course, you can add more products below or have fewer products. It's entirely up to you. But those little full width galleries are quite eye catching and nice little feature to have for your site. You can add animations or box shadows or whatever you want to do with it. So I hope you found that useful. If you have, please give it a thumbs up, share and subscribe to our YouTube channel. We'll be doing a lot more with Divi. 
If you're interested in web development, take a look down below. We've got some great free web development courses, as well as some premium courses with some huge discounts for our YouTube subscribers. So do please take a look. Once again, this has been Jamie from System22 and WebDesignAndTechTips.com. Thanks for watching. Have a great day.